previously on The Mob Doctor. So, you recognize your new patient? Witness protection for more than a year. I never agreed to kill somebody. Yes, you did. You I came did. to me begging and pleading for your brother's life. You knew Moretti's reputation. He would have killed you. Grace, who have you gotten yourself into? It wasn't Grace, Ma. It was me. Nate. No, I screwed up. Let me deal with her. You gotta watch that temper, pal. Nobody's scared of you anymore. It's been like family to me, Grace. But you're dead to Moretti. That would now belong to me. Who wants Kool-Aid? I remember the first time my mother lied to me. When my father didn't show up for my sixth birthday party. She told me he had to work, but that wasn't the truth. Sometimes, the only way to protect someone you love is with a lie. You don't like the eggs? No, I like them fine, Mom. I'm just not that hungry. You've been acting weird all week, both of you. Remember, home by 7. Grace's boyfriend is coming over for dinner and making duck. You don't make duck. I do when you bring home a doctor. Have you heard anything from already? No, okay? For the tenth time, no. It doesn't add up. I mean, he comes after us like a madman and then he just disappears. You know what I think? I think you should stop looking for trouble and forget about Moretti. I'm looking over my shoulder. I don't like it. What is this? Southport Community College registration is today. I thought you might be interested. Are you kidding me? Forget it. Hey. I know you think you're trying to protect me. I don't like being kept in the dark. I gotta get to work. Hi, Ma. Fifteen years in Statesville. Man, that went by fast. Yeah, it's all gumdrops and teddy bears. You know Stavos. Yeah, it's your lawyer. Where's your brother? Where we going? Make a left. Hey, Connie, you old bastard. <laughs> Jeez, Dante, you don't look too good. Screw you. That is my wife, Gemma. Very nice to meet you. It's nice to have some company, first time in months. Yeah, ever since I popped those Filipinos, the CPD's been all over me like freckles on an Irish ass. Six months we've been hiding here, while my brother lives it up at the lake house. Only one of us is on the wanted list. That's a good thing. Yeah, says you. Why don't you make us some coffee, will you? So I hear you want to take over Moretti's deal with us. Yeah, that's right. Why the hell would we change horses midstream? Because your horse got scratched. Franco, Moretti was your boss. What the hell happened to him? He's at my A. Constantine gave me a shot. We understand your first shipment of video poker machines is coming in next week. So, what if it is? You're gonna need somebody to distribute. Maintain them, collect. I'm your guy. Look, if we do come to an agreement, you're going to get the same thing as Moretti. 10% flat. We're better connected. We want 15. What you want is a way back in. This is your play. Hey, we're already back in. We wouldn't be here wasting your time. Hey. Gemma, bring some water. All right? <coughs> Shady Grove, chronic dementia. No, 
ground responsive with the DNR. Fell off his bed, so his PMD wants a trauma consult. We are ready to move in three, two, one. Let's get him on a pulse ox and a monitor. It's DNR, why the million dollar workout? Looks bad at the home when residents crump in the pudding. Any family? Someone might want to hold his hand. Hey, Grace. Nah. Filed from the home. Hey, girl Donald has no relatives in state. Not too bad. All right, well, direct that admit to med surge and try to keep him comfortable. Yes, doctor. Good morning. Not if you're at girl Donald. Uh, that is true. So, if you like duck. <laughs> I told your mom that it's my favorite. Wait a second, she calls you? Like, directly? Women find me accessible, Grace. Help, I need a doctor. <laughs> Uh, we need a gurney. All right. What are our vitals, please? BP's 230 over 150. Start a night point drip. What do you got? Presented at the entrance doors, collapsed in VTAC and shocked your back. External trauma? No, none. Profuse epistaxis, but it stopped. Bleeding and single bees of tier one trauma to prove and otherwise. She's only yours. Blood traumas, EKG, chest, utox, and a BA. And right, Dr. Devlin, since we could be looking at an aortic dissection. I'll stay close. Good. Keep me posted. DP's dropping 150 over 100. Right. Let's roll it to CT. Go ahead, take it. Grace. I got rounds, okay? okay? Look, it wasn't important he wouldn't have sent me. Okay, I can push for an hour, but that's it. That's fine. Let's go. He's okay? My wife could have told you that. You sure she can be trusted? You don't have to worry about her. We got an understanding. You got a good strong pulse. Boy, thank you, doctor. Figure out what's wrong with him yet? Yeah, he's dizzy and his reflexes are slow. You had to give him a physical to tell us that? So how long you been feeling this way? A couple of weeks. You drink? Only when I'm awake. Smoke? In between drinks. Sexual activity? Tremendous. It's true, even when he feels like crap. But there's not much else to do out here. Come on, Constantine. What's with all these questions? You want her to leave? I'm sure she's got better places to be. You got any family history of a heart attack, stroke, cancer? We don't live long enough to find out. Now, what the hell is wrong with my brother? It could be anything from a virus to a brain tumor, OK? I won't really know anything until you come to a hospital. Grace. Dante, he uh, can't be seen in public right now. Okay. Then I will need to get a urine sample from you. Go ahead, fill her up. Just when I thought it couldn't get any more glamorous, right? <laughs> I haven't had a mani pedi in months. Yeah, me neither. So how'd it go? When those Filipino bar owners were killed, that guy's face was all over the news. I'm now holding his urine. Uh, come on, he's a guy like anybody else. <laughs> What's going on with you, Franco? What do you mean? A week ago, Moretti was killed. You're now working for the guy that shot him. I adapt, and so do you. You know why I'm here. You got other options. How about this? After your shift, I'll pick you up. We'll go grab some dinner at the Lazy Ox, and we'll talk about my options. Doctor, lawyer, Indian chief. You've already got plans. 
All right. Next. Hi. Copy of your GED or diploma. Um, I didn't bring it. So what are your long-term educational goals? Educational goals? Some students look to improve their grade averages before applying to four-year universities. Others are looking for associate degrees. I'm just here to register. Have you made your course selection? Actually, I changed my mind. Mr. Charles? I'm Dr. Robinson, the surgeon assigned to your fiance. Surgeon? God. Yeah, we're trying to figure out exactly what happened. Two hours ago, I was at St. Benedict's waiting for Megan to walk down the aisle. Just a small ceremony, a couple of friends. She didn't show. I went to go check on her, but she was gone. I I'm her sister. Well, she should be waking up soon. I'd like to see her. Hey, talk to me about urine. Stay away from asparagus. Are the results back yet? Should be. This is one of those times I'm not supposed to ask what's going on, right? Did the plastic bottle give it away? <laughs> oh, not good. pH is way low. How low? Renal failure low. You gotta get the patient in here now. Okay, that's not so easy. Um... Brett's patient, the elderly DNR, he came in a few hours ago. He has tests lined up. Edgar O'Donnell, room 408, in the NX. Is he awake? No, and the priest just administered. It's a matter of minutes. Why? When he goes, don't let anyone pronounce, okay? Okay. Right, it's Grace. I heard my cue to start walking down the aisle. Um, I cinched my dress, put on my heels, and, and then this wave hit me. A wave? Like um, an overwhelming rush. An urge to just get out of there and run. I raced outside down the street. My chest was tight, my heart was in my ears, and uh, then I saw the blood and, and came to the hospital. Hi. So, your EKG and chest x-rays are normal. What you experience is something called respiratory alkalosis. What's that mean? Well, it basically means you're breathing too hard, you exhale too much carbon dioxide, and you change the acid balance in your blood. It's a symptom associated with severe panic attacks. Oh, God. You panicked at the thought of marrying me? I, I don't know. Ben, I love you. I do. You ran away from me. Um, I guess I did. I am so sorry. Um, I gotta go. I'm sorry, I have to go. So, um, what happens now? We're waiting on your cardiac enzymes, and if those come back normal, you could be home in a few hours. Nate, you had me paged? City College is a joke. Okay. I'm 26, all right? I missed my shot. A lot, a lot of kids goof off. After I didn't goof off. Okay, but you're not letting me finish. You think I can't make smart choices? You think you know what's best for me? Okay, wait, wait a second. What's really going on, Nate? You never listen. I'm listening to you right now. You know I appreciate everything you've done for me, but I don't need two moms, all right? You lie around all day feeling sorry for yourself. That's full. You don't want to work? Fine. You don't want to go to school? Fine. But don't you ever come to my work to blow off steam. I got patience to see.
trust in you, Grace. Mr. O'Donnell is now my patient. I'm gonna draw some blood and take him to imaging, okay? You're piggybacking on the dead patient's workup? I hope you'd understand. Wait, 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 I don't like it. I mean, I trust you, okay? But this is messed up, Grace. Look, I wouldn't do this if I didn't have to. All right, Dante, you are now Mr. Edgar. O'Donnell. O'Donnell? Look at that. You're Irish. That's funny. I could go to jail and I could lose my license. I'm sorry. Hey, hey what about the stiff? He's going to stay in bed. Now close the curtain. And I'll come back to get you guys as soon as the MRI room is clear. Put it on. I ain't having that body in here. What do you want me to do about it? Everybody knows it. It's nothing more than a license for organized crime to print money. It perpetuates negative stereotypes the city has been trying to shake since days of outrage. Is somebody bought a dictionary? Just a couple seconds. Sit down. Hang over. So how's everything going? It's good. Dante's getting all sorts of tests. Grace, so I'm fine. I mean, I feel like I should be getting the hazard bay on this one. You serious? I'm just saying. Let me explain something to you, Pagliacci. We're working on a multi-million dollar deal here. So put some ice in your shorts and shut up. How you doing? You tell me. Am I going home? Uh, not quite yet. Your troponin levels came back elevated, which suggests possible heart muscle damage. From a panic attack? No, we're not exactly sure. That's why I need to do an echocardiogram. This probe, I can see your heart from all different angles. This might be a little cold. I couldn't wait to get married. And now I find out I was so stressed, I bled from my eyes to avoid walking down the aisle. Sometimes our bodies tell us the truth, and sometimes they disguise it. This feels so cool and relaxed. That's the Ativan kicking in. Ativan. The only time I felt this good in the last few months is when Gemma and I were in the sack. You know what I'm saying? I get the picture. Okay, now try to stay still. You're a good doctor, Grace. Disrespect. Ain't none taken. No question about it, though. You got your looks from your ma side of the family. Oh? You ain't get it from your scrawny dad, that's for damn sure. He married up. We all told him so. You knew my father? Sure. We used to play the ponies at Arlington before he got clipped. You know who did it? Should I ask? Constantine. You want answers? Ask him.
There's no effusion, no valve dysfunction, and wall motion's good. Is that good news? Yeah, very good. Uh, but I do see a shadow on the posterior aspect of the kidney. What, what is it? I'm not exactly sure. I just, I just need to get a better angle. Ah! Ah! Okay. Ah! <laughs> Chromocytoma. It's more commonly called a feel. You can see it right there surrounding the right kidney. I, I, her fiance said that she had a panic attack. The, the symptoms are the same, but during our examination, we found this growth. When I pushed on it, it released a flood of adrenaline, which caused her to literally hulk out. The, the feel basically explains her behavior at the church. The pressure from the corset of her wedding dress, yeah. that would have triggered the response. Normally, we put Megan on alpha and beta blockers for a week and then have a urologist ablate the feel, but her CT scans also reveal a paranephric hematoma. The tumor's causing bleeding around the kidney. She's unconscious, and as her closest relative, we need your consent to remove the tumor and the blood around the kidney. Of course. I mean, whatever you need to do. Mm -hmm. um, excuse me? Yeah. What's wrong? Planning of just asking for your dead patient's chart. Oh my god. Dr. Plenian, can I help you? You can tell me why you're running so many tests on a 92 year old man, MRIs, blood gases? I know. Um, you know, just working him up for his PMD. Well, how can we check it up on me? Is there something I should know, Grace? Mm, no. Okay, that's it. You're over empathizing with a 92 year old DNR. Look, I'm, I'm going to write you up. I'll be managing his care. No, from I'm now. actually just working. I don't think so. Excuse me? That patient is my grandfather, and I love him. So you got a problem with the way Dr. D's treating him, you got a problem with me. Not to mention, I know a good lawyer. You understand me? I'm glad that you're pleased with his care. Keep me posted. Okay. I'm out of here. Okay, you, you leave, you could you could die. I heard that doctor to the door. If I'm busted, I'm back in a six by six the rest of my life. All right, well, I just would like to do a few more tests. Where's Mr. O'Donnell? You got my scans, you got my blood. Just figure out what's the matter, give me a call. Get the mask, we're going. Okay, I'm heading to surgery. Look, there's a shift change in 10 minutes, okay? Would you take the service elevator? And put the body back. Grace, you're here. Sorry, Dr. White, I was checking out a patient. Retract immediately. Here you go. And you may want to hurry it up so you're not late for dinner, Dr. Robinson. Mrs. Devlin called me directly to check on your surgery schedule. Here you go. Subcapsular hematoma under pressure, which causes decreased blood flow to the kidneys, triggering excess renin secretion, which produces hypertension. There you go. She's cooking a duck, and apparently timing is important. Inside there. Ten blade. That kidney's gonna feel a lot better. <laughs> Suction. Suction. Well, that was the first time I dissected a fungating mass around a renal artery. Yeah. It's like a missing fundification times a thousand. You want to just take one car? Um, we have time. You could stop by my place. I, uh, I would love to. I have to run an errand. Okay. See you at dinner. Thank you. Yeah.
Dante Amato said that you know something. Something? Something about what? About my father's murder. He said that. What do you know? Haven't I always been there for you and your family, Grace? That doesn't answer my question. I think it does. No, it tells me you're hiding something. Well, what do you want to know? Huh? Spit it out. What do you want to know? Did you kill him? Did you kill my dad? I swear to you, on my life, on your mother's life, I did not kill your father. Constantine! Out here! Titus just called. Dante's passed out. All right, let's go. Come on. He can't get enough air. Let me get some. You can breathe. The breath is shallow. But your nail beds are pink. That means something. Well, he's barely breathing. They should be blue. All right, I gotta call the hospital and get his blood gases. We don't get service out here. Call cool. now. Nurse's station. Hey, it's me. You got the results back from the not dead O'Donnell? No, probably because O'Donnell was finally declared dead two hours ago. It's not like there's any rush. Okay, well, my patient is very much alive and I need those results. Okay, I'll walk down to the lab. Call me back in five. You have a lovely home. Thank you. Moved in three weeks after Grace was born and they'll be carrying me out in a casket. Hopefully not for a very long time. Well, uh, Grace called. She's running late, which means I get to ask questions without disapproving looks. Ask away. Close with your family? Close enough. What does that mean? Just being a resident, I don't have a lot of free time to spend with them. I don't care how poor a man is. If he's got family, he's rich. Depends on the family. Hey, you got anything? <laughs> Grace, the blood gases show severe acidosis. Does that help? Yeah, it might. Thanks. What's going on? Dante's got anion gap acidosis, and if I don't figure out why, he's... he's gonna die. Okay, mud piles. What? It's a mnemonic. M, methanol, no. U, uremia. His kidneys are fine. D, he's not diabetic. He's not breathing. By the way, let me get to him. Lactic acidosis. Gemma, Dante said the only time he felt good was during sex. You guys pump it up with anything, pills, herbs, drugs, anything. A few months ago, he started sniffing poppers. He said it made him feel like Iron Man. Okay, poppers are amyl nitrate. Get me one. Crack it open, give it to him. Redhead, stick it right under his nose. Franco, get my bag. Yeah. yeah. What happened? What happened? All right. What's wrong? It uh could be cyanide. Oh, Grace. Uh, honey, I'm gonna get you some water. You okay? All right. I need you to look at me right in the eye. Yeah, your retinas are red, cherry red. Lactic acidosis can be caused by cyanide. It turns the retinas red and your nail beds pink. The, uh, the nitrate from the poppers reverse the symptoms. Hold on, are you saying someone's been poisoning him? I, I would say so. Bitched and bitched about being stuck out here. You want me to go after her? No, no, no. We keep this in the family. You have to keep stirring the potatoes or they get lumpy. Sorry, I'm never ready. Let me in the kitchen. Oh, that's too bad. You know, this is right here is where Grace first started playing doctor. She would sit on the floor right there. She would dissect a chicken and pretend she was saving someone's life. She'd even call out code blue. You're really proud of her. 
course. Your parents must feel the same way. That was very impressive what you did in there. You ought to feel good about yourself. Yeah, I just saved the life of a wanted man, you know? I don't know how I feel. No, doctors can't always choose their patients. Especially you. Yeah, you've made that pretty clear. Look, after I killed Moretti for you, you decided to stay. So as long as you're in Chicago, I own you. That's the deal. So we'll enjoy your dinner. Sorry I made you late. I saw you at the hospital with Franco. I followed you to Constantine's and then here. You're in way deeper than I thought. Okay, go home. If you don't tell me what's going on right now... What? What will you do, Nate? I'll go knock on the door and I'll ask them. <sighs> okay, and they will kill you. I want to know everything. I want to know now. Okay. Okay. You'll tell me. Yeah, it's your life. That was delicious. Thank you. And I found the recipe for the duck online. I could teach Grace how to make it, if you like. <laughs> I don't think that'll ever happen. I do have an early call tomorrow, though, so I gotta get going, but let me help. Yeah, uh, uh, put that down. Hey, before you start yelling, I just want to say it. we are really sorry. You're together, the both of you? It's all my fault. Where were you? Crazy story. I, I was driving south on Halstead when my car started smoking. The tow guy has to take it to a yard and says he won't release the car unless I give him two C notes, which I don't have. So by the time Grace shows up, he's gone. My car's locked up behind a fence. Finally jumped the fence, got the car to the shop. Now we're starving. Is there any more duck? Mm hmm. Go wash up. Well, thank you for dinner. It's a pleasure. <laughs> I'm really sorry. I hope it wasn't too terrible. No, it was fine. Just kind of felt like something was missing. And your brother's story is ridiculous. No, I know. I know. Look, look, I got into some trouble. I needed to bail him out. Good night, Chris. His beloved wife tried to kill him. It's not been a good day. At least he's alive, right? Yeah, thanks to you and your doctor. I talked to Dante. You get the same deal as Moretti, 10%. Wait in the car, Franco. Look, I'm on 15. I have to insist. Ain't gonna happen. And I got more bar owners and all the men in my pockets than Moretti's got on his wish list. I want 15. Yeah. I, I, I want a 19-year-old double-jointed Latina. Just take the deal. Just take the deal. Don't, or don't take it. It doesn't make any difference to us. And what? Is that a threat? Just tell your brother I'm happy he's feeling better.
Wait a second. Hold it. What's the matter? According to this manifest, there's supposed to be 20 gaming machines in here. Counting these boxes, it looks more like 40. Something's not right. Serial numbers. Here, look. 90-870. 90-870. Change of plans. Let's go! Good morning, Gracie. Mom. I made you French toast. Um, why? Because I'm your mother. All right, how do you do that? I mean, you were so excited about dinner last night, and you have every right to be angry, and instead you make me breakfast. Did you know that Brett's not close with his family? I guess. You live at home with me. I'm lucky. I live at home because I have massive student loans. I like him. In case you were wondering, I think you'd make a nice addition to the family. And maybe one day he will. Gracie, I don't want you to worry about your brother. He's a grown man. What? You get him those college brochures and you try to keep him out of trouble. Yeah, well, I just don't want him to destroy his life, okay? Neither do I. But if you try to control him, he's gonna fight you. It's in his nature, you know that. I know. I'm proud of you, Grace. <laughs> I don't say that enough, I know that. I gotta get to the farmer's market before the Lincoln Park Becky snatch up all the Brussels sprouts. See you tonight. Good news. The tumor came back benign. The vitals are stable. In a few weeks, it should be back to normal. Thank you, doctor. Can I ask, have you heard from my fiance at all? I'm right here. Ben. I'm so sorry. You said you loved me. That should have been enough. Steak and eggs. That cholesterol will kill you. You make yourself useful. Get me some hot sauce. You're right on that. I know about the double dipper. Give us a minute, please. I'm so whipping you cereal numbers. Come on. You're cramping my style here. All your little poking machines, they all got a secret twin. So when they become legal, not the money. Flies under the radar. Tax free. Don't have to be a lawyer to see the genius in that, huh? What are you guys, gonna rent me out? The other option is a lot more civil and uh, lucrative. Yeah, I'm listening. I'm taking over Moretti's distribution contract. And under the circumstances, the price has gone up. Our cut's 25, and that's 25% of all the machines. You were asking for 15. You should have taken the deal. My brother's not gonna like this. Yeah, well, it's a good thing you're in charge, huh? For you. Hey. Mm. Ben and Megan's wedding's back on. We're invited. Oh, that's that's great news. Yeah, I told him I'd be there. I wasn't <laughs> really sure if you'd show up. Okay, we can we can talk about last night. You know. I know the last thing you wanted was for me to have dinner alone with your mom. That is actually very true. <laughs> yeah. So, whenever you want me to know what's going on, that's when I want to know. Patient found in full arrest for previous fits and dilated. Working on him for 30 minutes, but nothing but flatline. All right, hold it. Let's call it. Time of death. 
9.35. Someone must have really wanted her ring. Her nail beds are pink, the coroner should check for cyanide poisoning. I'll let him know. I think you can trust the people closest to you. But you can't, not always. See, when I blew out the candles, I wished my father would never come home again. And that afternoon, my wish came true. <laughs> No matter how hard I wish, I can't protect people from themselves. So what can I do for you, kid? I know everything. You know everything? That's a lot to know. Grace told me she's working for you. And that you took over from her, Eddie. Yeah, well, if you know that to be true, if I were you, I would use that telephone and call the police right now. Why would I do that? What do you want, kid? A job. You want to work for me? Yes, sir. Whatever you need, I'm your guy.